Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is November 1st, 2018. This is 13th video about template metaprogramming. In this session, I will talk about expressions in C++ language. An expression in C++ language has two distinct categories. The first is type category, and the second is value category. Type category means declared type, or deduced type. Value category means if we can assign or access or modify the expression. To help you understand, let's declare an integer and initialize to 2. And another one, this is integer reference A and integer I'll R value reference, I would say RR5. Now let's examine one by one. Ace declared type is INT. 2 has no declared type, has no declared type, but its deduced type is INT. R's declared type is L value reference. R's Value category is L value. RR's declared type is R value reference. RR's value category is L value. 5's declared, 5 has no declared type. Its deduced type is integer. 5's value category is PR value. Here, 2's value category is PR value. In this case, A has declared type is INT. A's value category is L value. 2 has no declared type, but its deduced type is INT. And 2's value category is pure R value. R's declared type is L value reference. R's value category is L value again. R's declared type is L value reference. RR's value category is L value. 5 has no declared type. Here 5 has no declared type. Its deduced type is INT. And 5's, this 5's value category is a pure R value. It might be a little bit confusing. RR, RR's value category is L value. R's Value category is L value. A's value category is L value. Now let's see 2. 2's has no declared type, but its deduced type is INT because this is integral type. Here, 5's has no declared type, but its deduced type is INT, integral type. 5's value category is PR value. PR value means P in PR value means pure R value. Here, P in PR value means pure R value. Now, I will explain more. Please note that this is a reference. It's R's declared type is L value reference. RR's declared type is R value reference. Okay, so here, L value reference is different from L value. R value reference is different, different concept from L value. R value. So L value reference is different concept, is different concept from L value. Okay. So L value reference, R value reference, these are, these belongs to Type declared type category. Okay, so here L value reference, R value reference, and in value category, L value, PR value, and X value, GL value, R value. L value reference or R value reference, these are used to talk about declared type or deduced type of an expression. And L value, R value, these things are used to explain value category of an expression. 
L value and L value reference, R value and R value reference are totally different concepts. So basically, L value means we can, the programmer can access and modify the value of the expression. More correctly, assignable. R value means we cannot access and modify the value of the expression. This is actually not correct, but it generally means, means something like this. So L value means we, the programmer can access and modify, and R value means we cannot access and modify its value, modify the value of the expression. More specifically, L value has fixed memory address, R value usually reside in CPU register or exist temporarily or ephemeral. I will explain one by one. An L value expression has fixed memory and is assignable and modifiable until either destroyed or goes out of its scope. A PR value, a PR value expression does not have accessible memory address usually reside, resides in CPU register and is used to initialize L value. An X value expression temporarily accessible memory address or exists in CPU register such that it can be modified or accessed by the programmer. X in X value means expiring, means expiring value. Since both L value and X value are the modifiable or accessible, these are called GL value where G means generalized. GL value is generalized L value. GL value is either L value or X value. Both PR value or pure R value or X value or firing R value are used to initialize or modify L value. These are called R value. R value is either PR value or X value. Let's examine once again int a 5, int reference r a, int r r, for example 6. In this case, please note that in this case a's declared type is int or its type category is int and R's declared type is int reference, L value reference. Its value category is L value because we are changing, we are modifying. We can only change L value. We can only assign to L value. We assigned 5 to A. We assigned the address of A to R and we uh, we assigned the address of 6 to R. So we can, we can only assign to L value. So A's value category is L value. Since R's value category is L value, RR's value category is L value again. Because if RR is not L value, we cannot assign. Okay. So, I hope you understand what L value means. Now let's see what, let's see again. A's type category is INT. Type category means it's declared or deduced type. Now let's turn our attention to 5, okay? Expression 5. 5 has no declared type, but its 
deduced type is int. Okay. Pivot's value category is pure r value. Now let's add this line. As declared type is l value reference here. R as declared type or type category is r value reference. C11 standard introduced keyword DECL type. This keyword DECL type returns either the declared type category or the value category of an expression. For example, int a, int reference r, int rr here decl type a returns int decl type r returns int reference decl type rr returns int reference reference r value reference please note that we use the, this dlcl type returns declare the type of a declared type of R, declared type of RR. Now let's see another one, DECL type here. A returns INT reference here. DECL type R returns INT reference. DECL type RR returns INT reference. Please note that this is not type of A, so it is different. Please note that it, we used parentheses, double parentheses here. Also we used double parentheses here. We used double parentheses here. This is value category, value category of A here, value category of R, value category of RR. Okay, so, so keyword, it is called the operator, the operator DECL type returns either the declared type. Declared type is also called declared type is also called type category or the value category. For example, for a given C++ expression, DECL type expression returns the type category of the expression decl type expression returns the value category of the expression